So I've got the motor off. Let's have a look at the wiring. So you've got the speed sensor here. This just uh, basically senses the speed of the rotor and notifies the uh, control board. Then you got this blue one here, I think it's this blue one. Nope. This blue one. I'll put it on continuity. Is to that brush, and this grey one is to this brush. So we've got the wheel speed sensors. Sorry, the wheel speed, the uh, rotor speed sensor. You got that one's one of the uh, brushes, and this one is the other brush. So they took them two are together. I think the green, the brownie coloured one, and this blue are the stator windings. And then this one here, I don't really know what this is, but it's closed. It's very low resistance, so I'd say that's a thermal cutout for the engine. If that goes, if that cuts out, obviously the engine will stop. Maybe, I don't know for sure. Just to guess, it could just be the winding connected together. So anyway, you don't really need to worry about that. So, I'm going to test between the uh, 1.1 ohms between them two of the state coils. 1.1 ohms again. 1.1 ohms. I'll put that there so you can see. Let's try that again. So. Between one stator coil and the other, 1.1, and then the other one, 1.1, and then between them two, it says 2.2, but <laughs> there you go. Test the speed sensor, 44 ohms, obviously if that was short circuit you'd be worried. And uh, also you can test the rotor as well, I'm not sure if you can see in there, but... As you can see the rotor there, basically you test in between each segment, so you have to go around the whole lot from one to the next what, next segment, so that's 0.2, you move on to the next one, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, until you've done all the way around it. So that's how you test the rotor. And that is about it really. You want to change the... points. Just two positive oil screws. And that's them. Still got loads of life on this. Make sure you note which angle it goes back at and then fit it back. I think I'll do that off camera though, <laughs> so I can get in close. So there you go. I just had the holes uh, in the wrong place, put the screws in the wrong holes. So that is it. Nothing hard about these, testing them. As long as your state is alright, your rotor is alright. The speed sense is alright. Should be good. 
Okay, well, refit it.